Hello and welcome to part 5 of the second attempt at my Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we fought our way up Sprout Tower. I believe we beat this guy at the top. Let's just have a quick look. I think he gives you Flash. Yeah, so we've got Flash, so we, uh, we picked up the win. Uh, we also picked up an Escape Rope, but I feel like there's going to be more strenuous parts of our journey when an escape rope is going to be the right play. So for now, I think we're just going to uh, battle our way back down. Um, did we say we were going to train Stingy Boy up next? I think so. I don't think we're going to use Nerdy, are we, for the time being, because we've already got a normal type in uh, Flaps. Let's do a team recap, shall we? That'd be a good idea. So we've got Stingy Boy, the Kakuna, who's level 4 and has Harden. Next, we have Fisty, the Geodude, who's level 12 and has Tackle, Defense, Curl, and Rock Throw. We have Daniel, who's level 10, who's a Cyndaquil, has Tackle, Lure, and Smoke Screen. Still no Fire Move just yet. And we got Flaps, the level 12 Pidgey, uh, with Gust, Sand Attack, and Tackle. And we also have an Egg. And we have Nerdy, the Rattata, who's level 6, who is not on the team, so not on the layout, with Tackle and Tail Whip. Um, caught Nerdy in here, and we haven't been back out to a PC since, I don't think. And if we have, then I forgot to deposit her. But we will do that today. So it's daytime again, so we're only going to encounter Rattatas in here, if anything. The encounter rate does seem to be pretty low during the day. I don't know about at night, but like, look at that, I just walked through the whole thing, no encounters. Just casual as you like. Casual. Okay, so we've already beat the gym leader. We've beaten Sprout Tower. We've got the Togepi egg. I'm just going to heal up and I'm going to stick Nerdy in PC. In PC. Where she can play some Daisy. Such a niche reference. Maybe maybe at some point she'll blow up and it'll be like, Oh my god, Ibeza mentioned you back in 2020. How cool is that? <laughs> Please drag him up with you. Uh, <laughs> so, let's uh, stick Nerdy in PC to play some DayZ. I like that so much, I'll say it twice. And now we continue our little adventure. And I believe the next way to go is going to be south. South from here. Now, we've already been into... Ooh, look at tree. May as well, since it's a new, ne new day. It's a new day. Um, weirdly, didn't go with the more well-known song there that starts, well, that states it's a new day. Hello. You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them on Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, please take this. Did he say please? I don't know, but he said take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. That'll be helpful for my team at the moment. Thank you. Was he not going to give me that if I didn't turn and speak to him? Your experiences in Violet City... Violet City? Violet City should be useful for your journey. It wasn't a very violent city, to be honest, so... I feel bad for me saying it. Okay, so... This is our encounter on... Route 32, I believe this is. And it's an Ekans, which we don't have, so... We're going to try and catch this. Uh, Stingy Boy, you're not going to really help a great deal here, to be honest. Um, I guess we just go flaps. Wrap, that's fine. I don't know if this thing's going to have poison sting. Um, I might want to sand attack a couple of times. Let's hit a couple of sand attacks. So I'm pretty sure this is Route 32. I don't really want to write it in my Nuzlocke book until I've checked that, but I'm, I'm fairly sure this is Route 32. I should have got that guy to show me around Cherry Grove and got the map card. My bad. Mabby. Mabby. Let me do a quick goggle. For... Johto Route... 32. Hey, released from that. Okay, I reckon we can hit a single tackle. Ooh, only just. 
Yeah, Violet City and Union Cave. Cool. So this is my Route 32 encounter. It's an Ekans. And we're all ready to catch this girl. I was going to say this boy, but it's a girl. Gotcha. Okay. Nice and Ekans. Let me just uh, squiggle this down in my me, in me Nuzlocke book. This is episode 5. Uh, we already have a poison type, so we're not going to add it to the layout, because uh, we're going to have a bee drill eventually, which would be nice. It always hides in grass. When first born, it has no poison, so its bite is painful, but harmless. Interesting. Um, I don't have anything to go off here. I don't have a special day that I want to name this thing after, or any of that sort of stuff. So... I'm going to call it Ekans Elprop. Because both Ekans and Arbok are purple, so whether it evolves or not, Elp up, purple backwards, will always be an appropriate name, because Ekans is snake backwards and Arbok is kinda cobra backwards, just with a K instead of a C. Anywho, yes, we have Elp up the Ekans, very nice, and now we're gonna fight you! You! I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Interesting assumption to make the first time you lay eyes on someone just walking around. Youngster Albert. Dear Rata Tata Tata. Uh, gonna be no match for Fisty. That's for sure. Let's get Fisty in here. Some marks. Oh, it whips its tail back and forth. It whips its tail back and forth. And it's still faster despite being half my level. Oh well. This will probably kill. Yep. Goodbye and good night. No level for Stingy Boy. Wow. Zubat. Um, back to Stingy Boy. Now, I think this thing's probably only going to have the. Uh, what's it called? The bug type absorb. Leech life. So I'm gonna have leech life. So I reckon we can get some experience on Daniel here. Oh, it's level eight though. Maybe not. Maybe this was a bad play. But use leech life though, which is good. I might smoke screen a little bit just in case it's got any better moves. It uses leech life again. may only have leech life, but it could have supersonic, it could have bite maybe, I don't know, level 8 is quite low to get bite. There's supersonic though, it's only 55% accurate without smoke screens up. So, trying to remove that threat as best as possible, there we go, two in a row missed. I reckon probably just leech life and supersonic on this thing. Oh, I hit the third time. Still think that's fairly lucky, starting on 55%, then taking two smoke screens and still hitting third time. That feels lucky. Oof. One more tackle. Break through the confusion, Daniel. Break through! Damn it! Youngster Alba's definitely luckier than I am. Yeah, missed you, missed you leech life. Come on, Daniel! Yeah, there it is. Stingy Boy, level 5. Yay! Daniel making hard work of that Zubat. We've got to train him up at some point. You're strong. Correct. Boom. Bada boom, 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 boom. Oh, would you look at that? A Pataion! Very nice. Oh, speaking of Pataions and healing and such, do we have any berries at the moment? Uh, no, just straight up berries. So I can use one of my potions, I believe, in battle. Or was it two? Did I use one outside battle? I can't remember. I know I bought five, but I can't remember if I used one in battle or out of battle, because I picked up one in the last episode. And I just picked up one now. Uh-huh, yeah, and you know, pardon, battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, but make it fast. Title of your sex tape. Let's go. 
Let's go. Picnic of Liz. Got her with the savage burn already. And she sends out a Nidoran female at level 9. Okay, this is a job for Geodude Dude Dude, in my opinion. Let's go, Fisty. We'll make it quick. <laughs> Rock throw. Don't growl at me. How rude. How much does Rock throw do after a growl? Oh, pitiful damage. Don't growl again. Okay, it failed. Failed to growl. Imagine failing a growl. Like, imagine. Alright, you can stop growling now. This better still kill. It does. Okay, cool. Picnic of Liz was defeated. Take it easy, that's me. I was having a nice chat too. Wow, you're good at battling. Wanted to give me your phone number. See, first she wanted me to make it quick. Now, because I did make it quick, she wants my phone number. <laughs> wants to repeat. Sure. Picking up chicks and Pokemon Silver. I don't even know if that's PG! I'll call you if something's up. So will I. <laughs> Oh god, this game. Okay, this is still week 32, so we've already had this had an encounter here, and this would be dupes anyway, so... Double happy days! We can fight this thing. Go on, Fisty, let's go. Could probably have done this with Daniel, but whatever. Lee! Oof. Oof. Rex. Whee! Level 6. Ooh, almost level 13. Water types could be a problem, but we've got Pidgey. We've got Flaps. My Pokemon? Freshly caught. Cool. I have nothing to say to that. Cool. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you, Fisher Henry. Dear Poliwag. Holy swag, 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 oh you. Go flops. Bubbles. How many bubbles, darling? Whoa, excuse me, why are you faster than my level 12 Pidgey? What is that? It's a speed tie. I'm so confused by that. It's a Pidgey, man. The Pidgey. Pidgeys are not slow. And you're a tadpole, dude. It's a pigeon versus a tadpole, and the tadpole is apparently about as quick. And it's a a higher level pigeon as well. Literally a bird against a tadpole. What the hell? I am confused. Unless Bubble dropped my speed and I didn't notice. Didn't that time though. I was faster, but I could still be a speed tie, I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, look at that, it's a speed tie. Holy heckles. Well. Rip Poliwag. Yay! Level 7 for Stingy Boy. Now a legal Kakuna. And we got a level 13 Flaps. Woo woo! It's half health. Splash! In our caps. Whoa! You made me lose that fish. Is this the Magic Carp guy? Because this can be an ordeal. I'm not even going to bother switch trading if this is the Magic Carp guy. Yeah. Every game's got one. It's the magic art guy. Yeah, I'm not going to bother switch training because they're worth, like, no experience. So I'm just going to go to Daniel and I'm just going to power through this. Just going to power through this. I don't know if I'm getting another encounter today, so I'm going to uh, put my button down. My Nuzlocke book. 
and uh, pick it back up if I do get another encounter today. Oh look, Splash! Who'd have thunk it? So close. Yeah, we need to get some levels on Daniel. We could do the fire type move. I'm hoping level 11, but for some reason in my head I'm feeling like it's level 12 when he gets Ember. But we will find out. I don't proclaim to be like a world renowned expert on Gen 2, so we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I don't even think I'll get to level, to level 11 in this battle. Oh, special note if I keep missing. The level 15 one with Tackle is going to be a slight concern. But I feel like Daniel should still be able to take it, right? It's a magic carp at the end of the day. Imagine the embarrassment of losing a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke to a magic carp. Oh no, no, we might reach level 11 here. Is this going to be the, uh, the big one? The big boy. I'm sure it's third. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try this. As long as it keeps using Splash, we're good. Keep using Splash, and we're good. I don't know how much Tackle will even do. I mean, I mean Magikarp's Tackle. Oofed! That's more than mine does. Yeah, you keep splashing. Just keep splashing, just keep splashing. We can still win this with Daniel. We do have an in-battle potion. We have at least one in-battle potion, I should say. Damn it! It's still hit. Eek! Crit kills here. I might, I might heal. I might actually use that potion. I could switch. Yeah, let's just switch. Let's just switch. This, this is silly. This is silly. I'm not using a potion on a Magikarp. Let's just switch to Fisty. Ooh, Splash. After a couple of smoke screens now, nothing happens with Splash. Shocker. Is he going to keep using Splash? Because I think technically... Is Splash technically a, a water type move? Or is that a normal type move? I think it's normal, actually. It really should be a water type move, shouldn't it? It's literally Splash. It's literally something you can only do in water. Well, liquid. Woo! It lived. How's it hitting through all these smoke screens? How exactly is that happening, please and thank you? Critical hit, just what I needed. Just when I needed it. Fisty, level 13, nice. Level 11. Doesn't learn Ember. I hope I'm right and it's 12. I'm bored of not having Ember, to be honest. To be honest. Brrr. Yeah, a little bit more experience with Daniel. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. You can say that was a lot of damage. Must have got a big attack boost on that level up. <laughs> but no, it was a crit. It was a crit. Nothing so exciting as a big attack boost. Fisher Justin. Sploosh. All right, Pam. Hello. I am a good angler, but an even better trainer. We'll see. We shall see. Fisher Ralph with your Goldeen. Deen, 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 deen. Goldeen, deen, deen. I don't think Goldeen will have a water type move as yet. However, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, actually, yeah, I am. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to go into flaps anyway. I'm pretty sure Goldeen does not have a water move this early. Eek! Well, we're about to find out. Because it's about to get fisty in here. It whips its tail back and forth. It whips its tail back and forth. Throw rocks at it. Okay, it would have used it there, surely. If it does have a water move, it didn't use it. So, silly Ralph. Stingy Boy does not level up. How rude. Probably would have if we hadn't split that three ways. 
I tried to rush things. Go speak to uh, Picnica. Liv. She'll be uh, fine with that, I think. Hey, Beza! How are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry! It's in your PC, you'll like it. Cool. This is why we did it. This is why we allowed her to save our money. Oh, we got a spinny boy. Hi! How would you like to have this tasty nutritious slowpoke tail for you right now? Just one million dollars. Oh, is that all? No, thank you. You don't want it? Then scram, shoo. Okay. Isn't there an item in here? Yep. It's a great ball! Awesome. Okay, so now we heal up. We heal up, we put um, Elf up in the PC. With, uh, with Nerdy. And we go... Oh, and we check the item, and then we go back and we finish that route. Right? Right? I'll put first. Get in that computer, my bob. Let's have a look. Oh, nice! Okay, I'll take that. And that's, that's one I can use in battle as well. Because I, I didn't buy it. I, technically I did, but I didn't buy it. I didn't go to a mart and choose the option to purchase. Isn't there an item up here on the right as well? May as well grab that. Oh, we could have had a Marie. That would have been cool. Yeah, this is still Route 32, by the way, guys. Oh, no, don't want to fight with that. Um, It's Fisty, isn't it? Fisty sorts out the reap. Growl! It failed. We're faster. Block with no legs is faster than a sheep. It's a slow sheep. Wow, low experience. Probably won't bother fighting them in the future. Another great ball! Wow, okay. Some great balls on this route. Bell sprout. So I think despite the lack of super effective move, Daniel should be able to deal with this. Does it resist fine whip? Well he resists fine whip. Growth. Special attack goes up. Okay, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. Virus gonna do three now instead of two. I'm sure that'll be very formidable. Oh no, it still did too. <laughs> Fail. Bye, Bellsprout. Oh, come on. Barely moved. Ekans. Go on, Daniel. Three more levels for Stingy Boy. One more after this battle, hopefully. Looks like we'll, we'll potentially get a beadle next episode. Sit down. No, not quite for Stingy Boy. Not quite level 8 yet. Hello! That glance, it's intriguing. Camper Roland finds my glance intriguing. Darling. Darling. Nidoran male. Oh yeah, there was some... Wasn't it um, Liv who had the Nidoran female earlier? Oh, hang on. It could have a fighting type. It could have a double kick. I don't know when it gets double kick. Let's go to Flaps. If you live at me. Gast. Oh, good damage, good damage. Another lay. What a wasted turn. Good bye and good night. Thanks, Roland. Ray, stingy boy, level eight. Hey, good stuff, good stuff. 
Hmm, this is disappointing! I think I used Geodude against the Nidoran female, actually, without even thinking about Double Kick. I think that was too low level to have Double Kick, but it's best to play safe. We are Nuzlocking, after all. Okay, I think this thing will only have Splash at this level. But if it has anything else, it's probably a grass move, so we're probably good with Daniel. Oh, it could whip its tail back and forth, whip its tail back and forth. That's fine as well. Does it actually have an attack, though? That is the question. A synthesis. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Right, okay, so I think we need, like, three layers to one shot. I'm just going to do that, because otherwise, what's the point? Let's play and keep fighting against synthesis. Splash! Yeah, that's what we want from you. So, two layers should double the damage. Three should go just two and a half times, I think. So, now, I think we should kill with a tackle. Okay, I... <sighs> Thanks, Pokemon. Oh, well. Synthesis won't re regain enough, and then we'll just kill with the next one. Must have been a low roll. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Who else we got up here? Oh, no one. That was it. That's it for trainers. Did we get Spinny Boy? Or did we dodge him again? I think we might have dodged him again. So we'll get Spinny Boy, and then we'll call it quits on the episode. Getting close to half an hour now. Getting close to the half hour mark, we might as well call it quits. But I think I think I want to finish Route 32 real quick. Or at least the top section, like before the Pokemon Center. I think there might be a trainer just before the cave. Is it Union Cave? I think it's Union Cave. I think there might be a trainer just before there, but we'll deal with them next time. Hello! I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Do what for you? You want to go see to live? <laughs> Youngster Garden. What's with all these youngsters having like old man names? Like Garden and Albert. They're not youngster names. They're old man names. Um. So I think we can only send Flaps out here because it's going to have like water gun. Look at that, it's like I'm psychic. Psychic Ibeza wants to fight. Okay, I'll take that trade off for damage. I'll take that trade off for damage, absolutely. Almost. Sit down. Good fight, but not enough. Mr. Garden defeated. Darn, I thought I could win. I'm sure he said they'll win it for me, like there was more than one. Don't forget this game was released like... 20 years ago. It probably wasn't being super progressive with its pronouns. They really did mean just plural. Like... <laughs> And also, Pokemon don't adhere to that rule, I suppose, because they actually have a, a gender, a, a, an assigned gender that, uh, within the law of Pokemon, we would have to assume is factually correct. Like, we would have to assume its type is correct. You know. Um, anyway, we're going to call it quits there. So, leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Also, check the description for my other channels, my social media, my Patreon, all that fun stuff. But for now, all we, are, all we have left to say, apparently, you guys are talking too. All I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.